Hey everyone, so we've got another awesome image sent in by Gerard here. So you guys can go give him a follow down in the description. All of his links will be down there for you guys. So coming down, you can see some pretty awesome work. So warm shadows and yeah, landscapes, portraits, and he's using about that 35 millimeter range for most of the shots. So coming down, you can see we're gonna be recreating this edit here. So we're gonna get into Lightroom and see if we can create something like this. Okay, so we have cropped it into a portrait. And first thing I'm gonna do is bring up the warmth as he quite obviously had warm looking images. Now maybe bring up the exposure a tad. Contrast a bit. So I am going to try to expose the background because I think it's much more likely that he brushed the person and not the entire background. Drop these whites a bit. So it's quite bright in some areas. I'm just trying to match them up. And then as you can see, if you look up in the sky, it's quite often pretty easy to see fade in the whites or highlights. And we'll do that with the tone curve, but you gotta take that into consideration when adjusting these. I'm gonna take blacks all the way down. Desaturate a little. Right, so tone curve, as you can see, we've got a nice fade down in these darker areas. And that's quite obvious and there's a pretty decent amount of fade. So do that. Right, so what you can also see I did is slightly bring down the very bright whites and now I'm going to just do some split toning so I'm going to definitely put some orange in the shadows For the highlights, if we bring saturation up a tad, I can see a bit of blue in these areas here. And at the moment they're looking a little purple. So I'm thinking it's blues in the highlights. And what I'm going to do now is add in some grain. So looking up at the sky is probably the easiest way to notice it. Then I'm going to increase the size. And leave the roughness there. Uh, now we can kind of try to fine tune our colors. So I'm just focusing on the background now and then we will come in with the brush and brighten up her. So I'm gonna shift the red slightly towards orange. yellows 
yellows I'm gonna as you can see on the very bright bits they seem a little bit more yellow rather than a dark orange so I'm gonna leave them about there not much green but he does have warm greens in his other images purple so there's a little bit of purple going on mainly in the shirt saturation so as you can see this bit here or this house here As you can see, orange also affects that. So it's quite difficult to know whether it's the red saturation or the orange saturation that's doing that. But yeah. Yellows. So I'm looking down here. And there's quite a bit of yellow down there, I think. Red, I'm actually going to bring down quite a bit. Aqua, a little bit in the sky. Blues down. So luminance, uh, I think the yellows are quite deep, so as you can see, brightening the yellows, deepening them. Okay, I want to add a very slight uh, vignette as I think it's a little darker down in the corners and the sides. Very slight. So now I think our background's not looking too bad. There's a few other things I want to do Is it before and after. So it's looking much warmer. Right, so I'm going to grab a brush. And I'm gonna paint
So just brush and broaden that shit here. And then grab another brush. And it's gonna be face here. So what I want to do is brighten it up. Uh, so it looks quite flat. So I'm going to drop the contrast. So they'll bring up the shadows a little and drop the highlights a bit. I really want to drop those highlights. Uh, shadows I'm going to bring up. bring those whites down let's bring the bright areas down and the darker areas up and it'll become a bit more flat and I just want to bring those highlights down a little more I'm going to draw a circle gonna knock down the highlights I think it's looking a bit better and then you could keep doing brushes trying to fix some colors if you wanted so you could say adding some warmth into the skin can help a lot and then say you think it looks a little too too purple slightly shift the greens can really help and we obviously want to drop the saturation Maybe some more shadows. And I think we're looking pretty close. I just want to maybe slightly reduce the exposure on the shirt there. desaturate a little more and because we added in quite a bit of warmth and this is also affecting the hair what I might do I can either take the warmth out of the hair or just create a new brush And just add in some coolness. And that takes a bit of that extra warmth we put in out. So So our before 
and after i'm pretty happy with that guys so yeah leave a comment down below who you guys want to see but make sure they don't have too many followers that way i can reach out to them they can send in a photo and i'll do a tutorial on them and you guys can go give him a follow down in the description his links will be down there give myself a follow and yeah leave a like leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one